Hey guys, so we got a new Stanley Cup playoff release, and there are some biggies amongst it. Uh, there's a bunch from different years, 1992, a couple from 2010, 2012, 13, and 16. We're going to go into all of these cards and get the values on each. Also, we got new Plays of the Year cards. We'll break these down and see how valuable these ones are as well as the card art is already fire. So let's jump into all of the new cards. So we'll start things off with the 90 overall James Reimer. I remember this uh, playoff run specifically. It ended in heartbreak for the Leafs. But regardless, his card, not terrible, six foot two, so again, kind of under what you want in terms of height, but his glove high and positioning at 90 overall and aggression at 78 is exactly where you want it to be. Obviously, the higher the better, but the build isn't terrible at all. Uh, I would think that there are many better options, but he might be extremely cheap, so um, not terrible to look into. Then we've got the 90 Rod Langway, six foot three, left defenseman, 89 speed, so... I think it's just a little too late as to what they're doing now in terms of limiting skating and whatnot on the bigger players. But uh, yeah, his shot is fine at 93 overall or in terms of power. Uh, but this card not really usable in any stage of the game right now. I mean, even if you are you know looking to upgrade your team from um, you know you 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 don't have a lot of high over 90 overall players. There's going to be far better. 90 overall defenseman that you can go after but he does have two to sp which is nice but it's just not enough then we've got the 90 overall adrian a coin and again six foot two nice build 87 overall speed like um, again i understand the sentiment now but unfortunately just these cards aren't really usable even if you were to pack one you're gonna get absolutely crushed so there's better base cards that you could use and um, you know while all of his other stats are obviously great in terms of awareness and things like that so he's gonna be okay in the defensive end but you know if you have any sort of rush and whatnot you're gonna get absolutely smoked so i mean if he's paired with someone really fast maybe uh, because his shot power at 95, but his accuracy is only 81. So this is this one's a hard pass all the way around. And then we've got the 92 overall Mike Green from the Capitals. 99 skating, here we go. 99 skating, 94 shot power with 85 accuracy, 91 puck control, as well as 92 passing. His awareness stats are over 90. He's six foot one. This checks off all the boxes and a very decent card for sure. Two to one T as well, which is nice. Uh, yeah, there's nothing, there's no issues with this card at all, and a, a pretty interesting right defenseman card again in that middle 90 range. Um, you know, if you if you aren't able to afford the master set guys, but have about 100 or two in between 100 and 200 k, this is probably a decent card to go grab. Then we've got the 93 Larry Murphy, another right defenseman, 6'2", 210. Good size and his skating, not bad, as he's got 95 speed and acceleration. His balance is only 89, which means that um, you know you're gonna have a hard time holding on to the puck i mean it, it there's a lot of factors that go into it his size is gonna help his puck control is gonna help um but his balance uh you're not gonna be able to hold on to it and kind of hold somebody off at the blue line as easy as some of the other cards now his shot is phenomenal 93 power 97 accuracy body checking at 87 so this card is sneaky good for the 93 overall like this plays and looks like a card in the high 90s just based on his shot speed um you know and his hand stats as well as his awareness not a bad card at all and someone that i would look to target if again you're you're unable to afford the the high master set overall player i can't believe it's been 10 years since the yaroslav halak canadians run 5'11", though, so not usable in NHL 20. However, his glove high and positioning is great. His aggression 79, and then it's a nice nod to one of the craziest playoff runs that we've seen in the last 20 years from a goaltender out of nowhere. Following him, we've got the 93 overall, UC Jokinen. 99 skating across the board shot power in the mid-90s. His accuracy is 90. This is a great card. 2-1 to one T as well. Hand stats all at 90. Awareness stats at 90. This is a very, very well-rounded uh, winger card, and there's a lot of them out there right now. But, you know, if this one is going up against other ones that cost more, uh, the, the, the stat improvements aren't going to be all that much. So this is a very good card, including the synergies. 2-X, to 2-WC, to and 2-1 to T. Great synergies as well. So, um, you know, very interested in this card. 
Then we've got the 96 Sidney Crosby. So this all but cements the fact that he's not going to get a master set item. Um, obviously, he had one already, but 99 skating. I mean, if you don't have the team of the season one, this is a fantastic card. I mean, he is 5'11", so he does play a little bit smaller, And but all of his stats are basically 99. All the important ones is a very good centerman card. I use his team of the 96 uh, team of the season Um on, on center and a fantastic card for sure. I, I really enjoy it and uh, you know nothing wrong with it at all. This is a this is a great card still and one of the only ones that you can get away with that are under six foot for sure. And we've got the ninety seven New York Islanders, John Tavares, ninety seven skating with ninety nine agility and balance. Shot is basically maxed out, hand stats basically maxed out. The only thing that isn't is his body checking, but he's six one two oh eight. So you're gonna be able to do enough damage. This is a fantastic center card. Um, and if you were choosing between the two, I'd rather have him than Crosby. Um, but uh, I'd be interested to see how much he goes for. I have a feeling it's going to be quite a lot. And another one that had potential in terms of a master set card, but he's already gotten one in the 98 Pavel Datsuk. Basically 98 across the board. This is one of the best cards in the game. Uh, he is a little bit smaller, so that's the only knock on him. But, you know, nothing wrong with a 99 overall. Basically everything. He can play center. He can play wing. It doesn't matter. And um, really, really fun card to use. Uh, this is this would be one of the better ones to grab um, just from a fun standpoint. It's Pavel Datsuk. And then we've got a really good defensive player in terms of, uh, you know, how players play NHL 20. The 98 Patrice Bergeron. He's usually a favorite early on due to his high faceoffs. Nothing changes here. He's 99s in basically all the skating stats. Well, he is 99 on uh, faceoffs, 99 every defensive attribute as well, basically shot blocking, uh, stick checking, and then his awareness stats are 99. So you can't take that lightly. The, the defensive and offensive awareness stats being 99 is huge. And if you are okay with right-handed centermen, this is a great card. Uh, you're not going to have any complaints here, and you, you could have him for the rest of the year. So um, a great card. I have a feeling he's going to be really expensive, though. And then lastly, we've got the 98 Claude Giroux. So basically the same thing at this point. Everything is 99. It's just his size. So uh, again, the same kind of thing with Patrice Bergeron and Datsuk. They're all great cards no matter what because of their attributes. They're just under six foot. So keep that in mind. Um, but obviously this is one of the better cards as well just based on attributes. He's fantastic. And um, you know, let me know if you, anyone plays with him because I'm never, I'm never a fan of the Giroux cards. But I'm curious to see if you guys are, so um, just leave in the comment section down below. But that will do it for the playoff releases. Now let's take a look at the new play of the year cards. So we've got two, and again, I would YouTube them as they are pretty crazy. I just obviously, I can't show them on my channel. So we'll start with the 95, Joel Vermin, 5'11", 191, so a little bit slender, which is unfortunate. This whole release is a little bit smaller. 99 skating, 97 shot power with 90 accuracy. You know, a decent card. The only thing I'll say is that his awareness stats take a hit. They're under 90, um, so there will be better cards that are around the 95 overall, but the synergies are nuts. TK, WC, SP, and FB, that does increase his value. So I'm curious to see where these cards fall in terms of pricing. And then we've got the six foot one Yannick Rathgeb. The uh, right defenseman, 99 skating. His shot is in the you know mid-90s. His balance, body checking, everything like that is fantastic. His awareness stats are great. If they're, you're choosing between one, this is definitely the better one to go for. And he is one of the better right defensemen just based on all of his stats and synergies combined. If you are going to have someone that's under like six foot three, this would be one of the better cards to grab. So a uh, very, very interesting card, and I love the card art on these. I do want to mention, guys, that there are sets for all of the ones that did come out. So the 90 Larry Murphy with two. That one I would do, by the way. If you have the 90 Larry Murphy and he's untradeable for two gold collectibles, I would make him a 93. I think that's a worth it value. Uh, the 98 Pavel Datsuk, not up to 95, and it's going to cost you, you know, about 300k, as it's going to take you six. So that's not bad, but um, if you had the untradeable version, I would rather sell him and grab something else. Um, but that's not bad at all. As again, there are bigger guys. That's the thing. I mean, if you're if you're knocking the 99s or the high 90 cards, I would the tiebreaker is going to be size, and obviously they're a bit undersized. The Sidney Crosby, you can take the 92 flashback. That one's a little bit more obscure. So if you have that one, um, it's probably going to be tradable. So I would probably just sell it. I wouldn't do this set. 98 Patrice Bergeron. It's going to cost you 12 gold collectibles. 
and the dynamic duo card. This one I would do for sure because you're getting a, basically an end game card for 12 gold collectibles. 100% I would do that one. 98 Claude Giroux is going to cost you 17 if, if you have the 88. Uh, 17 is a lot. Like uh, at 10 gold collectibles is basically 500k, a little bit under it. So you're looking at close to, you know, almost a million, at least, you know, seven, eight hundred thousand coins. I don't know if I would do that. Although you're getting a 98, so I mean, you know, what am I, uh, what am I uh, to knock that? So guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys next time in regards to new NHL 20 content. Have a good one, boys.